good morning good afternoon everyone and a warm welcome to the biodiversity conservation course offered on the swam portal i am thrilled to introduce you to a journey that not just educational but transformative one that will deepen your understanding of biodiversity and train you to take meaningful actions to protect it this course is a timely and critical exploration of biodiversity its threats conservation strategies and the roles we can play in safeguarding the planet's ecological balance in this course you will learn from a diverse and experienced faculty including professor arusilias who is working as professor in the department of wildlife sciences aligarh muslim university dr faiza abasi director ugc mmttc aligarh muslim university aligarh dr sharad kumar and dr ahmed masood khan working as assistant professors in the department of wildlife sciences and dr gosia basi working as assistant professor in the department of botany aligarh muslim university these faculties bring their expertise to every lectures their insights will guide you through the complexities of the biodiversity conservation biodiversity uh, simply put is the variety of life on earth biodiversity is the foundation of human survival it gives you food water medicine and countless ecosystem services like pollination and climate regulation but today biodiversity faces immense threat species are going extinct at a rate far faster than any time in the human history climate change habitat destruction pollution and our exploitation are pushing ecosystems and the species in the brink this course is your opportunity to understand this challenge and more importantly to be part of the solutions this 12 week course is precisely designed to take you to the fascinating and the crucial subject of biodiversity conservation in the first week we will lay the foundation by exploring what biodiversity is why it is important and the threats it faces we will also dig into india's unique position as mega biodiverse nation and examine the links between the biodiversity and the climate change the week ends with an introduction to ecological concepts such as interaction between species genus and habitats in the week second and third we shift our focus to conservation strategies you will learn about in situ conservations like wildlife sanctuaries and the biosphere reserves and the ex situ methods such as zoos and the seed bank we will also explore india's biogeographic zones ranging from the himalayas to the western ghats and understand their unique biodiversity values these weeks provide you with a thorough understanding of how conservation is implemented both locally as well as globally by week 4 we dive deeper into the concept of the hotspots these regions that are incredibly rich in species but also highly threatened india host four of the world 36 biodiversity hotspots including the himalayas indo burma and the western ghats through this week you will gain an appreciation why these areas are critical to global biodiversity and what can be done to protect them in week 5 to 7 focus on frameworks and the policies that underpin biodiversity conservation at the national level we will explore biological diversity act and the national biodiversity action plan at the international level we will study agreements like the convention on biological diversity the nagai protocol the cartagena protocol on biosafety these sessions will help you understand how policies are formulated understood and implemented to safeguard biodiversity both in india and globally we can ties everything together by exploring international linkage and strategies we will examine the h biodiversity targets and how they align with the global frameworks like the ramsar convention iucn and the organization like unesco and who these linkage show how biodiversity conservation is a shared responsibility across nations requiring collaboration innovation and strategic planning in week 9 we explore the role of society in biodiversity conservation 
This week highlights how communities, especially women and indigenous groups contribute to conservation efforts. We will also discuss the direct and indirect uses of the biodiversity and the critical role local communities play in biodiversity management. These discussion will remind us that biodiversity conservation is not the sole responsibility of the governments or scientists. It is something we all can and must contribute to. In week 10 is actually dedicated to practical tools and the techniques for biodiversity research. We will study sampling methods for the birds and mammals and habitat monitoring techniques and also use of camera traps in biodiversity conservation. These hands-on methodologies are essential for anyone looking to pursue a profession in conservation or research. In week 11, we turn our attentions to plants with an introduction to herbariums and their importance. You will learn about different types of herbariums and the techniques for collecting and preserving plant specimens. These skills are invaluable for documenting and preserving plants biodiversity a critical but often overlooked aspect of biodiversity conservation. Finally, week 12 addresses emerging concern and sustainable practices. We will focus the impact of urbanization on biodiversity, including urban heat islands, and explore adoptive strategies for biodiversity enhancement. We will also focus on endangered species management and how sustainable practices can align with initiatives like Mission Life to ensure a future where biodiversity and human well-being coexist harmoniously. So, why did you join this course and why one should join this course? First, biodiversity conservation is not just an environmental concern, it's a global imperative. By understanding biodiversity and its challenges, you can contribute to securing the planet's ecological balance and the resources humanity depends on. Second, this course offers both theoretical knowledge as well as practical skills, making it relevant for students, professionals and nature lovers. Third, it empowers you to act whether through community engagement, research or advocacy. By end of this course, you will have a holistic understanding of biodiversity conservation and the tools to make a difference. In the end, I must say that the biodiversity is not just about protecting plants and animals. It's about safeguarding our own future. This course is your first step towards becoming a steward of the natural world. Together, let's learn, grow and take action to ensure that the incredible diversity of life on earth thrives for generations to come. Thank you and I look forward to boarding on this exciting journey with you.